Green fingered hell number two. Here we come. The joy, the joy of vlogging, unlike making programs for television, is you just turn your camera on, you start filming, announce what you're doing, and it's suddenly a program. Um, here's the thing. So, Mum. Yeah. The greenhouse. Would you call it a greenhouse? Um. Yes. A little one. A little greenhouse. You can grow things there. That you now, can before grow we go, house. before we go over to the greenhouse mm -hmm. and discover the true horror of what's happened in there, because I had all sorts of things left in there, like yeah. strawberry, strawberry plant shoots and all sorts of things, yeah. fennel, which yeah. I thought was unkillable but has died. Oh, there yeah. are bags of tulips. We no. overdid the tulips. Yeah. It's such a shame we didn't get a chance to plant them all, really, isn't it? Well, no. Don't forget the squirrels were really giving us grief at that point. Have you seen a squirrel recently? They're klepto squirrels. Well, they are, and apparently crack tul addict. tulips are their best, best... The natural. tulips, they're crack? Tulips are. In fact, that phrase has been used. Really? Yeah. Tulips are, are the... By, by, by gardening pundits. Has it been used by drug dealers? <laughs> no, I don't think Could so. we be doing a and roaring trade of tulips? have been on sale in... Yeah, I was going to say, is there tulip smuggling going on? No, no, but... So, so. yeah, so the mission on this Green Fingered Hell, we're going we're gonna to define our, the remit of each little episode, I think, a little bit more clearly. And then have a go. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Have a go. Have a go. I think it said avocado. Um, Could try it. So we're going to go over to the greenhouse. We're going <laughs> to explore what's in there. The aim of this is really to have got everything out. Yeah. So that I can, in comedic fashion, carry the greenhouse across the garden and place it on the opposite side. Is that doable without it collapsing? Only one way of finding out, Mum. No, but do you, do, no, but do you think it is, seriously? In I your sincerely heart hope so. <laughs> so you don't know? I don't I know. Mean, well, let's go and have a look. Yeah, I was going to say, can you even get it over those... Um... Let's have a look. So here's the thing. <laughs> so Nadia looks down this way and she just feels demoralised because of this. Look, she calls it Steptoe's Yard. Yeah, yeah. Right down Which to things like the bikes. Point. I can see, see a point, point and all of this stuff here. So the mission is to get all of this out of the way. So I need to lift all these out of the way just so that you can get in, really, don't I? Let's, let's, let's have a look. Let's show the subs inside. Look, subs. So in here... Seeds from last year, debris, lots of leaves and old pots, lots of dead things over here. You see, lots of dead things. A lot of bags. Oh. That is very, very <laughs> wrong. <laughs> and don't think that we're naturally sort of. Um, and they come back next year, though. Yes, we'll keep them for next year because that was me. I think it was me down at Mom's. Um, you know. Uh, what you call it, garden centre, yeah. getting ridiculously um, over enthusiastic. Right. And we just didn't have either the time or the place to put these, did well, we? Well, you can see that they're... No, so yeah, I know, but... One, oh, what does one do to things like that? Yeah, well, one keeps them in a dark... That's a bit too light, that's why it's doing that. They need to be in, like, potatoes in a dark place wrapped up. Oh. So, so light these are. I mean, it won't stop them sprouting, but hopefully... Oh, they are all sprouting. Are all spr oh, my God, they're really sprouting. Should yeah. we not just quickly bung them in the earth? Well, you say that, but there are an awful lot here, and where would we put them? Could they all go in that bed? Could that become a tulip bed? It could. How much sunlight do tulips need? I don't know. Could it's... those, could these... I'm going to fall over. Sorry, could this bag of stuff... Good God, look at this shit. That's like, a, that's like a bird with real problems. You know what it is, Mark? It's a magpie. Oh. I saw it for a brief time yesterday and let the dogs out because magpies are a problem, subs, because they, um, they have no natural predators. And once you've got one, they sort of go around the garden and there's lots of little birds nesting in here. And you can let see what a big... Let me show you something. Let me just show you. Big... Follow me. The two of them. Huh? Oh. I hate to say are. it, but they're nesting there. They're trying to nest. Don't oh, maybe I've them. got rid of their nest. Well, There's two magpies over there. But come and look at this. Do you think this is something? Really look at the song. shit. There's yeah, shit on? everywhere. It's like, it's like shit city. It is, but the last thing I can remember in this area that was concerning us this much last time yeah. was squirrels. And now Clearly it's this birds. isn't squirrels, it's birds. Yeah. Now dogs, why aren't you doing what you're supposed Hello. to do? Hello. We're just hey, dugging welcome out. to Green Fingered Hell. We're just admiring how much so shit there cold. is. It's very it nippy, is a bit isn't cold. it? That's where how we much what there is? How much bird shit there is everywhere. Bearing in mind there's something in here. Why has that happened on the side of the hole? When did that happen? Them. Yes. It's a bloody magpie. 
nice subs, don't you think? I saw it the other day, and now I still saw little ones flying in and out. Oh, and I'm worried too. that I'm worried that they were under siege. Well, I hate to say it, but what else could that be? And I mean, it's good that the, that the thing's little and that they can't get in there, but at the same time, oh, it does make you worry. And this blooming weather isn't helping stubs in the sense that it keeps going very mild and then you sort of all the plants think, oh, good, I'll come up. And the birds think, oh, good, I'll have babies. Well, it feels like a frost could come And today. then the next day, which is now, we're standing here freezing, aren't we? And it's either raining a lot or it's very, very cold. So do you think that a bloody nasty great big magpie has, has basically attacked the entrance to that? I think, I think so. I just feel, honestly, I know I'm doing a bit, I'm being a bit hippie-ish, but I feel all these little birds are telling us that. Um, oh, what, they're shouting out? They're shouting, get Well, maybe the they're magpies. shouting that madman with the chainsaw has removed our entire habitat. Yeah, I Have I made the right decision removing that bed? <laughs> or are you just saying that because you're worried? Have I overdone it? No, the only thing that I thought... Yes. Can I say, does it yes. matter if this is slightly... Yeah, look it, this it, way, though. It'll come out slightly critical, and I don't mean that at all. It had to be cut down because it was all brambles. But when you're sitting indoors, and I thought this yesterday when I was waiting for the man, um, it brings that wall of evergreen trees much closer to you. So you look out of the window mm. and you feel that that's what you've got in this garden. No. Now, now, I mean, the only difference was you've either got brambles or you've got those trees. I'm not saying that no, this is better. No, but the idea better. is ultimately to oh, put Oh, no, other you'll stuff have there. beautiful trees. Yeah. I'm just saying, and that's the only criticism I would have. And well, it's an observation, term. really. It's an observation, yeah, yeah, yeah. not a criticism. But I'm going to show you something that's quite exciting. Oh, go on then. No. No, that's impossible. Well, blow me down. Look. <gasps> it's not even a one-off. They are trying I to grow. Them Do you remember I planted them? No, no, peonies. Lengthways, peonies. They're trying to grow. Oh, bless them. So do you think we should put the other pin? How many peonies can you have in one spot? Well, you can have as many as you want. You, you put three in there, didn't you? There's three a lot. Well, they get... Well, no, the... you could put... Have you got loads more? Someone was suggesting that these snowdrops, mm -hmm. we should dig them up and we should supplant them over here. Yeah, no, well, the whole thing about... Um, look, look, these, these, we've planted all these little pretty little things that are slowly coming up and they'll just, over years, the, the idea is that will grow more and more. They're called scillas, those, I think. Um, I think it's partly to do with climate. So, but peonies. here's the thing. We have got these other peonies over here. So we've got back... OK, here's a question for you, subs. Yeah. We've got excess peonies. Excess peonies and we've got excess tulips. What should we do now? If we were to plant them all now, mm -hmm. will they take and will yeah. they grow? Having let me let us just show you this. These are tulips from the same Batch. time as we got those. Now look, I'm hang on, let me just turn it around. These are tulips that we got at the same time as we got those, and Ooh, as you see, they're that. coming up beautifully. Beautiful colour, aren't they? And um, I mean, I remember when we got them, thinking, "Oh God, these tulips will be will be lovely." So that's what they would be like if they'd been planted out. Yes. Do you think that they've still got a chance if we plant them out yeah, now? Yeah, exactly. That's what we're asking. Because, I mean, they're that high and these are just like this. Well, do these have yeah. to go into height? I mean, like, look, at, look, look at this chance down here. I've got yeah. Are they supposed to go soft and gooey as they grow? Not soft and gooey. Is it soft and soft gooey? And, it's, a bit, it's a bit soft. Oh, yeah, it is a bit. So, subs. It's criminal, really. It's trying Ooh. desperately to grow. So, subs, show us that, Mum. Could we chuck? a load of them you could down here yes and in a way you'd be storing them and that way we'd be else. storing them. what do you think subs is it too dark i mean it's a dark day today isn't it everything's I mean, dark everything's dark. dark um okay so what i'm going to do now and this is going to have to happen off camera is i'm going to move i'm going to do some heavy shifting i'm going to get rid okay. of all this stuff here yeah. i'm going to move it to a part of the garden where it's less obtrusive so that we can get into the greenhouse are you going to do that? I'm going to do it very quickly. <laughs> but how? Watch me. Okay, team, I'm going to go at it. I'm going to try and clear this spot as quickly as possible and as completely as possible. do now is I'm gonna get everything out right but I'm gonna go in with the camera for a bit okay um, 
I'm going to put the bikes in the front garden because they're either going to be thrown or sold. Okay. Um, and so the idea is I'm going to put that bin in the front garden. So I'm going to clear this corner so that you can you can go through it and you can maybe organise the pots into yes. pots that we can use. Yes, because you don't um, want you don't. Want and could you do it? another good job would be to sort of make use of the soil that's in stuff in there sort of like i've been decanting it into these things like that so okay. got, it's just like a sort of mix bag of soil yeah yeah no no no. so okay, team no. some real answers we want questions questions we want answers to mm -hmm. can we do anything with these remaining peony sort of roots and the tulip bulbs and should we the could peonies I put them in that are corner? different in the sense that they will come up time and time again absolutely it's just i'm wondering how many peonies can you have in one little concentrated spot could we put a load or not it's quite exciting because as we move stuff down that end of the garden mm. that's all going to start to go into that bed and because i chainsawed a week ago already the weather's breaking it down it doesn't look as debris -ish. no no i thought and I'd that forgotten myself. that i'd cleared everything from that front yeah. of the garden too so yeah i thought that myself <sighs> yeah, yeah. unleash the beast you like gardening, don't you? I do. You were a good gardener. When I, I was, was a for a while, subs. Yeah. No, I wasn't a teenager. I was, no, when much I was older. a teenager. Oh, when you were a teenager, yeah. You used to go to Sissinghurst and places like that all the yes. time. Yes. That's when I I thought that when I gave oh, I gave out the information that tulips don't come up twice, and you sub said I was very wrong in that. But I was basing that on the while I was doing that gardening, I went to Amsterdam yeah. and bought a load of white tulips because it was all white, 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 white because of yes. Sissinghurst. And they came up beautifully yeah. one first year and then nothing. I can't wait to give you that bed around the corner I know. to well, work with again. Exactly. I'm nearly there because I've got rid of all the big bits. Exactly, exactly. Because oh, I was thinking. Good. Look. So. At least it went. Yeah. Okay. So I think where this all went wrong, Mum, mm -hmm. was putting the bloody shelving unit in it. Oh, look, there's more Scylla. Yeah, they can just go anywhere. I'm going to chop those over there. Mm. Yeah. All I need is a dibber. See, look, I hate to tell you, but there's even something trying to come up there. What is that? I don't know. Oh, that's a begonia. I think the begonias it might are be. coming back. Yeah. These are all begonias. Yeah. Okay. That in there, I hate to tell you, is birdseed. Birdseed? Birdseed, but I did that because I was trying to... Oh, OK, that's good. It says seed on it, and I took it literally, but then I realised you meant it for... You meant seeds. it for fresh seeds. Sorry about that. So, um, so look, taking a look in there, mm -hmm. I need the strimmer because I'm going to need to... So, shall I just get everything out? Well, this definitely needs to come out because we can't get in until that comes out. Will we need that shelving unit anyway? Is it just going to keep accruing stuff and getting in the way? I suppose it is, but it, it, fills, me, it fills me with... Upset. Well, yeah, because I'm thinking it would do great in my flat. <laughs> What a joke. What I'm thinking is, the reason I put it in there in the first place was, it was last autumn and we have, we're having a big, big storm coming. And I thought rather than all the wood getting wet and it's not being no, treated you're, you're at all, I put it in there. No, no, the only reason I'm repeating that is if, if, is if it stays out and we're going to have a lot of rain, it's the same thing will happen. Yes. That I thought. Yeah. But does it matter? What well, say? Not we really. don't, not really. No. No. So in that sense, it, it was just a, a sort of temperature. One thing we do know, and it's basic science, Mum, is if we need to move everything away from here, mm. it has to come out. Well, this is this is what I'm well, saying. We're stating the bleeding obvious here. Come on, let's go. I should think subs are thinking, for God's sake. Mm. I love you. I've been looking for that everywhere. No, you haven't. It's my shoe. <laughs> what is it? It's a tiny shoe. Oh. It's a tiny proper shoe. But why would you want that, Mark? How did you get this in? Yeah, that is a good question. It wasn't easy. Because I did it on my own. Yay! So, Mum, where could we plant those? Oh, no, don't think of that now. Uh, Mark, you, you must at least think in terms of Logically. some things we don't think. Yes. Think in terms of what you have to do month by month. Well, minute it's, by minute, even. Well, yes, minute by minute now, but don't sort of start thinking of putting those in. Um, you've got to have a bed and everything for them. I we haven't got enough beds. We haven't got enough beds. No, we haven't got enough beds. What are you doing? Mum says it's Steptoe's yard, so I'm moving Look, Steptoe's yard. But what was wrong with it where it... Mum didn't like it there. Why? You can't even see it. Careful, 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 careful. Dad! Oh my God. Go down these steps, Mark. <laughs> It's not gonna. Oh. You've made this a lot harder than it needed. Oh. You're gonna fall and break your neck. I'm sure they could have 
even if I wasted it. <laughs> if it works, then it's... Oh, my God. I can't believe it's made it work by the look of it. <laughs> that is funny. Now, that's funny. Where's it going? Over there. <laughs> There'll be a total eyesore over there. Mum, it was fine where it was. I don't know why you wanted it me. It's an eyesore. <laughs> Nan, I think it's caught. <laughs> Good shot. Just come back to where it was, Matt. <laughs> Yay! Oh God. Big space. You're funnier. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. Look. I knew that it could be lifted in one fell now swoop. Now I know when you've done it, which is good. So here's the thing. What we're going to try and do to solve that back door there is we're going to grow something up it. Oh, lovely. Uh, and maybe we could use this here rather than the front garden. Yeah. What say you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds, sounds good. So what I'm thinking, Subs, is to cover that eyesore there which is why I actually put the greenhouse there. There was actually a rationale, because Nadia will now, I guarantee, not like the look of that. No, no, I know, it's, it's in it was itself. Too, so we could put that along the bottom and grow it up. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds fine. And then if we ever needed to move it, you just have to, we just have to cut yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but look at this. It actually looks very proper over there. Doesn't it? Look. Nad, it looks like absolutely the right place for it over there. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. Look, looks green. <laughs> it's green. So I'm just wondering if I construct the other one next to it, but maybe I construct the other one. I know what to use one of these boards for, a flap. I could use one of these to create an artificial floor. <laughs> so things have to get worse before they get better. Oh. So those are the next critical thing to go over to the greenhouse in the new, we now have a new greenhouse area. In fact, I haven't actually, the subs haven't been over there in close up. So let me take these over for them whilst you. Yeah. So you're going to sweep up those, I'll are you? Sweep up Can you manage that? Are you being sarcastic? No, not at all. I'm checking. You look like a garden gnome, mum. I feel like a garden gnome. So yeah, have you got a bin, Lina? Yes, somewhere. Uh, don't worry, I'll find it. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. So I'm going to take these over. And I'm going to explore the possibility of creating an artificial floor onto which I can actually construct the second greenhouse. So we have two greenhouses. Yeah. Look at that. It looks great from over here. Look. I mean, ignore the rest of the garden. It's like a logical spot for it. I suppose eventually the other one could go in the greenhouse, in the kitchen garden, in the front garden. Okay. You go in my new greenhouse in the new end of the garden. I've literally got a good greenhouse at the end of the garden. Come on in. Oh, yeah. It's all still intact. That's so cool. And it's quite sheltered with this above it. I'm going to show you the view from my room. Absolute desolation. But all that is going to be going. We've got a new bed over there. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is just the extent to which uh, my sock collection has been diminished. Okay? So here we go. Avocado socks. Four sets of socks. Just one sock. Sock. That was a sock. 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 Look. Sock. Doesn't it fit? Doesn't it? Oh, it's so sweet. Now, once I've cleared all this off here, 
I will strim the grass and that'll be quite a quick effect. Yeah. Look at the trees that have gone. This is the only apple tree I've kept. Yeah, no, good boy. Just to keep that. I've kept this because it's quite pretty, but I'll cut it back. Yeah. Hey, and there. Look, look how many socks I found. <laughs> Those she only bought out yesterday, I think. Quite remarkable. Um, I know. Proper, oh what, fully unopened pairs Top of it. socks. Topping turn. The end of the garden. Toffee, what is this? Toffee, what is this? What have you done? Hmm? Toffee, Toffee, what is this? What have you done? Uh, okay, I'm gonna put them in a bag. Oh, wow, look. Oh, well done. I need to get some of that. Can't see it, sorry guys. Sorry, subs. Sorry. Not thinking visually at all, am I? Oh yeah, very good. This is where that was. It's now gone, over there, where it looks very at home and pretty. Oh yes, yes. Um, so I just need to, so pots and stuff, I just need to take across the... Yeah. Can you see subs? Else. Look, that's where the greenhouse was. And Nadia described it as Steptoe's Yard. It's still pretty Steptoe's Yardy. Subs, there must be some sort of device well, for, for in scaring Nadia's defense, off she's, That's why she kind of likes chimes. Chimes might do it. Oh yeah, chimes are good. Why don't we put that chime up? You know, the one that should be sent. So, it... There's a crow's and they're as bad as magpies. They're the same family. So you're about to head off? Yes. Well done, Mum. Thank you. Huge amount done over there. Yeah. Uh, it looks so nice over there. It does. And I think if I can put something flat on the floor and put the other greenhouse there, Nadia. And what's um, nice about that is when I come next time, it'll, I can be have a look. And, and I'm going to make sure we've got a clear thoroughfare all the way through. But anyway, do you want to yeah. say a bit farewell to Green Fingered Hell 2? Bye-bye. And we, we're slowly but surely starting and we're getting on with it. Yes. Looks stand much stand as if you're holding a um, fishing rod. Why? Just face into the garden. Stand as Shut if you're... Up. No, go on. No, like that. Why it's not? garden gnome. <laughs> garden gnome. Shut up.